Hey YouTube, this is Comet back again with another crypto video. Thanks for clicking on my video. And for all my new viewers, heads up, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research before making any investments. So in today's video, I'm gonna do something different. I wanna talk about five cryptocurrencies to take a look at while we are in this bear market. Now, we don't know how long the bear market's gonna be. It could be a week, it could be a month, it could be three to five years. Historically speaking, bear markets usually last around four years. Now, some of the all-time highs we've seen in cryptocurrency was in November 2021, so the entire market has been down since. But one of the benefits of being in a bear market is that you are able to now buy great projects at a much lower price. Now, if you bought at the all-time high of any projects, of course, dollar cost averaging is a good method of getting more out of your investment. But if you're new to crypto, buying in a bear market is like buying a project in its infancy. And if you believe in cryptocurrency at all, I'd also say that it's also in its infancy. All right, now let's get going on the list. It is not not in any specific order, but right off the gate, we're going to start with Polkadot. Polkadot is an open source sharded multi-chain protocol that connects and secures a network of specialized blockchains, facilitating cross-chain transfer of any data or asset types. Polkadot was designed to provide a foundation for a decentralized internet of blockchains, also known as Web3. Polkadot is a sharded multi-chain network, meaning it can process many transactions on several chains in parallel. This parallel processing power improves scalability. Number two, Phantom. Phantom is a directed, acyclic graph smart contract platform providing decentralized finance services to developers using its own bespoke consensus algorithm. Phantom aims to solve problems associated with smart contract platforms, specifically transaction speeds, which developers say have been reduced to under two seconds. One of Phantom's key strengths is its performance in efficient transaction processing, namely thousands of transactions per second, where transactions are settled in one to two seconds, and the cost is fractions of a cent per transaction. As a result, Phantom provides higher scalability, but at a lower cost. Number three, Stellar. Stellar is a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized network designed to move financial resources swiftly and reliably at minimal cost. Stellar links people, banks, payment processors, and allows users to create, send, and trade multiple types of crypto. The Stellar payment protocol is based on distributed ledger technology, which is open source development, community owned, and distributed by the community. The crypto asset of Stellar platform helps for cross-border transactions, overcoming the problems of high fees and slow procedures. Stellar is focused on assisting individuals transfer money than they are with institutions. Thus, Stellar offers access to financial systems and people can send money at low cost and promptly around the world. Number four, Chainlink. Chainlink is a blockchain abstraction layer that enables universally connected smart contracts. Through a decentralized Oracle network, Chainlink allows blockchains to securely interact with external data feeds, events, and payment methods, providing the critical off-chain information needed by complex smart contracts to become the most dominant form of digital agreement. In 2022, Chainlink onboarded Eric Schmidt, who is an ex-Google chairman and CEO, as a technical advisor to the Oracle Network Protocol. According to Schmidt, Chainlink is a secret ingredient to unlocking the potential of smart contract platforms and revolutionizing business and society. Chainlink has grown from aggregating and providing cryptocurrency price data to many DeFi protocols. The ecosystem currently access over 1 billion data points, securing over 75 billion in value through 1,000 project integrations with 700 Oracle networks. Mainstream organizations like AccuWeather, FedEx, FlightStats, and the Associated Press have partnered with Chainlink for data verification. Now, finally, Last but not least, number five, Kronos. So Kronos or Crow is a native cryptocurrency token on the Kronos chain, a decentralized open source blockchain developed by Crypto.com Payment Trading and Financial Services Company. Kronos chain is one of the products in Crypto.com's lineup of solutions designed to accelerate the global adoption of cryptocurrencies as a mean of increasing personal control over money, safeguarding user data and protecting users' identities. The Crow blockchain serves primarily as a vehicle that powers the Crypto.com Payment mobile payments app and Kronos chain is an ethereum compatible blockchain okay so now real quickly before we wrap it up in numerical order by the way i read the descriptions Polkadot is sitting at five dollars and 84 cents down 3.52 percent for the day currently sitting at a 6.5 billion dollar market cap today's 24 hour volume over 217 million dollars with a current circulating supply of 1.13 billion polka dot now as i mentioned at the beginning of the video we have been in a severe decline since november of 2021 so that being said polka dot's all-time high was on november 4th at 55 dollars so currently down 89.37 percent so at this price i feel is a steal that's why it's on the list
Next, we have Phantom sitting at 0.1978 cents, down 0.33% on the 24 hour with a market cap of approximately $503 million and a 24 hour volume of almost 58 million. Current circulating supply, we are sitting at about 2.55 billion with an all time high on October 20, 2021 of $3.48 down 94.3% since that time. And as for number three on the list, we had Stellar sitting at 0.1091%, down 2.39% in the last 24 hours, with the market cap sitting at almost $2.8 billion. The current 24-hour volume is just over $92 million, with the current circulating supply just over $25.6 billion. Now, this cryptocurrency has been around a lot longer than the first two that I mentioned, but their all-time high peaked in January 2018 at 93 cents and is down 88 cents from that all-time high. Now, in all fairness, the last few projects peaked in October and November of 2021, right before we went into a bear market. Around that time for Stellar, it was sitting at around 38 cents. Number four, we have Chainlink. So Chainlink is sitting at $6.61, down almost 2% for the 24 hour, sitting at a market cap of just over $3.2 billion, with a 24 hour trading volume at just under $300 million at approximately 295 million. Now Chainlink has a current circulating supply of approximately 491 million. The all-time high of Chainlink was on May 10th of 2021 at $52.88, which this project is now down 87.46%. Now finally Kronos. Kronos is sitting approximately around 10 cents, down 0.5% over the 24 hours. Currently sitting at a market cap of just over $2.6 billion with a 24-hour volume of approximately $23 million, down 20% in the past 24 hours. The current circulating supply for Crow is $25.26 billion. Now, Crow's all-time high was on November 24th, 2021, at 96 cents, making it down 89.32% since it's all time high. Okay, before we wrap up, I just wanna tell you the reason why I made this video, I wanna give people perspective on what's out there and projects that if you would have seen in 2021, you would have said, oh, I wish I would have bought this a year ago. All the projects that I mentioned, assuming we get into another bull market, could go anywhere from eight to 12X. And that's a pretty good return on investment, especially as I mentioned earlier in the video, you didn't buy at the all-time high. You know, you're getting into those projects right now. Now, I have tons of other projects that are very similar, and I consider all of these blue chip projects. I know there's no blue chip in crypto, but that's what I consider these. These are going to be a lot more, uh, how do you want to say it, stable in a high volatility situation. Crypto in general is very volatile, but the projects that I mentioned in this video, I think are winners and I think that you can do very well with at the current price once we get into a situation where we get into the bull run. Now, these are going to be long term investments. Of course, they can be day traded. They can be scalped. However, as I mentioned, if you are actually getting into these projects for the first time, you're getting into them all at a price that is unparalleled to what people were paying just under a year ago. But anyway, that all being said, I really appreciate you watching this video. Let me know down in the comments section if you want me to make more videos like this. I like to come out and maybe make a video either once a week or every couple weeks about maybe five more picks or my top 10 picks. But anyway, give me some ideas down in the comments section. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that notification bell. It really does help out with the channel. And until next time, take care and have a blessed day.